for the neoliberals who say that the residents of that area deserve what they, they are getting because they voted for President Donald J. Trump it is abhorrent. Mm. This is about poverty. This is about poor working class white people who are enduring some of the same things that poor working class black people endure, whether it's Flint, Cleveland, or Jackson, Mississippi. And so I want to lay it out. The, the cultist behavior in politics right now, it is a sin and a shame that when people are suffering to this magnitude, you got people who will fix their mouths, to quote my grandmother, to say that they are getting what they deserve. What they deserve is clean air, clean food, clean water. They deserve relief, both in the short term and also in the long term. A legend. Are you going down there at all? Um, yep, I am. When are you going? Uh, I'll share that uh, when I'm ready. Okay, I'll talk thank you. Can I get a, can I get a photo of you? You mentioned a national political figure who's decided to get involved. It sounds like you're talking about Trump. And then you said, I need your help. How can he help? Well, one thing he could do is uh, uh, express support for reversing the deregulation uh, that uh, happened on his watch. I heard him say he had nothing to do with it, even though it was in his administration. Uh, so if he had nothing to do with it and uh, they did it in his administration against his will, uh, maybe he could come out and say that uh, uh, that uh, he supports us moving in a different direction. Yeah, you're a legend in your own mind. <laughs>